How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how I made this 3D animation for Brabus. So this was shot at ComplexCon and they had this square box theme right at the front entrance, kind of like right when you walk in. So they were really big and I want to do something cool where I create a 3D object or box of the client I was working for, which in this case was Brabus. So in this video, I'll be using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. So Element 3D is a plugin by Video Copilot. If you don't have it, this is still great to learn because in After Effects, you can still make 3D objects and you can make something custom like this. But I prefer Element 3D because you can work with lights, cameras, adjustments, environments. It's just so much better in my opinion. So let's get right into this video. So if you watch my videos before, you know that I like to work at pre-comps and keep everything organized. So first, let me break down the video and the timeline of what I'm doing in here so you understand the methods and what we're going to be getting to. And then I'll start from scratch and I'll show you exactly how I did it. Let's start with the first layer, which is the original clip. So the clip I have right here is just basic 3D camera tracker on here. Um, stabilize it, of course, if you need to. So pre-comp it, stabilize it. But in this case, I didn't stabilize this yet. And we have my 3D camera tracker. So we have a lot of great points and everything set up so we can make a 3D scene. Next, we have our obviously our camera. We have a solid. So this solid is the element 3D layer. You can see the object with the animation right here. And then next we have a light, which is this thing right here. So this light is kind of shining onto the Brabus. If I disable it, you can see the shadows and just the orientation of the environment changes or the light source. So this was very necessary to get a perfect look and blend that I was going for. Because you can see this stands out too much. And once you have the light in, it softens it, makes it better. So it's very cool to use lights and uh, 3D objects. Next, we had some particles. I did very subtly. You can see the little particles right here, right here, right here. Just a little detail, just to give some mood and feel um, in the scene. All right, so let me delete everything and let me show you exactly what I did. And now we have a fresh start. So the first thing you do is add your 3D camera tracker. You can use this from Essential Effects or you can just go and search 3D camera tracker or you can right click, go to track and stabilize and click on track camera. If it's a harsher scene to where it's harder for the track camera to get good points for you, make sure you open this advanced tab up here and then click detailed analysis. In my case, I don't need it. There's a lot of track points that it'll find in here. So while this is tracking, let's move on and start getting our scene ready of what we need. So I'm gonna make a new solid. So we're gonna make a new solid layer. You can right click new solid or control Y and you can make a new solid. Doesn't matter what color it is. It's not gonna matter anyways. The next thing we're gonna do is add on element 3D, which once again is from Video Copilot. This is a paid plugin. I do recommend it because I love this plugin. Great, so now we have our element layer and we can go into the scene setup. But before we do that, I need to get the Brabus logo in here so we can match this theme of the box where it splits the name in half. So now I have the logo and before I'm going to start masking and tracing all this, I need to make two layers and we need to split them. So I'm gonna split this one right down the middle right here since what I'm trying to do is split the Brabus into two parts to match the box. So on one layer, I'm gonna have it like this and then the next layer, I'm gonna have the same mask which a faster way to do this is copy your mask that you just made put it on the other file, and then you open up your mask and you can invert it. So now it's the other side. Great, now we can pre-compose these, move all attributes, move all attributes, perfect. We have two splits of the Brabus logo now. While we were doing that, our camera tracker finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my camera tracker so I can see my points, scroll through here, and I'm gonna select right above the main box where I'm gonna have the animation. We're gonna right click, create solid and camera, or null, doesn't matter. In this case, it doesn't matter. So that's about right. I'm just gonna adjust the position a little bit, make sure it's right above, maybe even more. Perfect. So we can hide that solid layer. That's just our reference point, which will link to Element 3D. Before we go into Element, we need to auto trace our logos. So I have two logos here, left side, right side. I need to select my layer, go up to layer on the top of After Effects, go down to auto trace, make sure preview selected, and make sure that it traces properly or how you need it. So I'm just gonna adjust these just a little bit, less roundness, and I'm gonna press OK once I'm satisfied. And I'm gonna do the same for the other layer. The reason you wanna auto trace your layer and mask it is because Element 3D will take that mask and it will make it into the 3D object. This is a quick way to do it. Now we need to make sure we're all connected in the custom layers. I have my custom text and mask. Brabus logo, Brabus logo, cool. We can go up to scene setup now. Once you're in here, you'll notice nothing's in there. All you need to do is press extrude twice. 
So now you have two extrusion models here. And the next problem comes up. It's the same model twice, even though we linked both. So click on one of these, and then you're going to go down to extrusion here and change the custom path to custom path two, because we had custom one and two. Once you make that custom path and you change it, you'll see now we have both parts of the logo as we wanted. So you can go ahead and stack those up. It'll be something like this. I believe it's pretty much going to be the same size for both. So maybe I'll increase this. And if you want to make this a bigger 3D object, you can increase the bevel. But in this case, I'm going to leave it like this. Let me just increase the size so we get a matching length, right? I want to make sure these line up properly. If you hold the middle of your mouse, you can slide like this and then left click will go like this. And if you want to reset, you just click this. Cool. So this looks pretty good for me. And now let's make our box. To make your box, you're going to go up to create, click this cube right here. Box is done. We're going to drag this box right behind it just so we have a rough sizing estimate and I'm going to increase it, bring it back. And right there is pretty good. I want it to go a little bit in the text, but first I'm going to add a texture to my text uh, extrusion models so I have a better reference of what I'm looking at. If you don't have pro shaders from Video Copilot, then we're just gonna skip that and we're gonna go straight to just physical, which is what's included in Element 3D. So for the box, I'm gonna add the plastic mat. So we have a plastic look to it with a little bit of shine. And then for the text itself, I'm gonna add the plastic white. So it matches the scene. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna make sure I select both my extrusion models, which is the logo. And then I'm gonna click on the folder. Never mind. I'm just going to drag those into that folder I made. And now we have it all organized as one asset. What I'm going to do now is make sure it pokes out just a little bit from the box. So it gives it a little bit of a 3D depth, but maintains the shape that we're going for. I want to make sure this is sized perfectly. Adjust the scale, bring it down and let's see the whole thing. I'm going to increase it just a little bit more and I'm going to make sure it's centered to the box. Cool. What I don't like is how the bus part of the logo is bigger because you can notice it with the bees. So I'm just gonna match the scales again and we'll just make it work, okay? Increase the scale, okay. All right, now we have this done. I'm gonna go ahead and right click my group layer and I'm gonna duplicate the model. So now we have another copy in which we can bring to each side. So go ahead, bring that to each side. 90 degrees is the ratio for each side. So just keep adding 90 degrees and we'll bring this in. Beautiful. And I'll do this two more times. All right, now we have our 3D box that matches the complex con theme in our video. Now I'm gonna press okay and we'll get back into our timeline. You already noticed that the element 3 layer is already 3D. That's just what it does because we have our tracker and our camera already set. So I'm gonna open up the world transform and I'm also gonna open up the position on my track solid by pressing P. So we have our position coordinates, which are right here. So we're gonna match that to our element 3D layer. I'll take the Z, put that in position Z. I'll take the X, put that in world position X, same for the Y. And then we'll scale this up because it disappeared. We're also gonna go down to our output because we can no longer see our box, which is a problem. And we need to see our box because it's too deep into 3D space. So you have to open up your render settings and go to camera cutoff and increase the camera far plane. Just to show you an example, this is where it was. It will basically cut out the object. So if you want it deeper, increase that. Now we have our box here. I'm going to raise it and get it exactly where I want it to be. Right around here, I'm going to make it bigger. I want it a little bit smaller than the boxes since I don't have much space. And I'm going to drag through, make sure it's fitting into my scene. Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I save my project. And now we need to start blending this and add our lights in. I'm going to go ahead and hide my text layers that I masked. We don't need that anymore. It's already set up. One more detail I like to do is environment. And to do the environment, you need to open up your Content Aware tab, which is in Window content aware fill and I'm going to create a reference frame that'll basically open up Photoshop and then create a reference frame in here which is what we want just one frame and we're going to connect that frame to our element 3d layer go back to your element 3d open up custom texture maps under custom layers and set layer one to reference frame then we can go into scene setup environment custom layer one and boom we have our environment okay okay save awesome so I like to blend with Lumetri Color. So I'm gonna add in Lumetri Color to my Element 3D layer. And let me start blending this in because I filmed an S-Log. So I'm probably gonna raise the shadows, decrease the contrast, raise the blacks just a little bit. Saturation and temperature, we need to adjust to match the scene a little bit better. But to do this properly, um, I would put my conversion LUT first and then color grade it based on that. So let me get in here, put this on top. So I have a reference since I have S-Log 3, I converted it with my conversion LUT. So I have a better reference of what I'm looking at. And just based off the little adjustments we did, it looks perfect to me. Now we need to go to layer, new, and add a light. 
So I like to do a parallel light, color white, intensity 100, we'll change it later. All right, so now we have our light. So parallel light will basically give it a soft look all around the object. So you can blend it better into the environment that way, or you can switch it to a point light or a spotlight, which will just highlight one area of that 3D. So if I bring this back, so you'll see right here, it will change the intensity of the light. So I'm gonna add this light into a area in which probably has some light coming out, which is probably right around here. So we get a nice little side light on the brabus. You can even keyframe this if you want to, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna keep it right here. Great, now that we have our 3D objects, the light's done, the blending's pretty much where we want it, let's add some animations into this. So open up your element 3 once again and go to group one because in our scene setup, we had group one, our layer, which is right here, group folder one. Okay, now we need to go down to group one, particle look, and then we're gonna go down to particle rotation. Before we start rotating, go in your scene setup and make sure your anchor point and everything's set in the center. So we have our object right in the center and we're gonna make sure we click on our main group and have our anchor point right in the center. So right around there is good and press okay. Now I'm gonna keyframe our rotation. So we're gonna go through our rotations and see which one we want to adjust. You can do this either in particle look or you can go down to world transform and adjust it here. But I'm gonna go into particle look and adjust it in here since I wanna adjust only my particle. Now what I'm gonna do is keyframe the rotation I want, go to the end and then rotate it. So like this is fine with me. We'll see the preview. It's rotating right above the box. I'm gonna adjust it and make sure it doesn't seep through the bottom. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller by adjusting my particle size and particle look. And lastly, we'll bring it down just a little bit. Great, so now we have a rotating object. You can also go into Element 3D and add a motion blur on it. So if you go down here to render settings on Element 3D, you can go to motion blur, you can do comp settings, or you can just turn it on and you can switch it to like 16. So as it's moving, it'll have a nice little blur, or you can add motion blur on top of it or later on in your project. Great. So now we have our 3D Brabus thing spinning. Another detail I did in the main video is I added the Brabus logo on top, which is just the circle and the B. But in this case, you get the point. We'll leave it out. Now that that's done, you can go ahead and stabilize your clip, do whatever you want in a pre-comp. And then I have my main comp here. I do need to disable my lumetri color. There we go. And lastly, you just add a nice little speed ramp on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead make a little speed ramp on here and pretty much done with this video. Here are the final results of this Brabus video and how I made the box. So I hope you learned something. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cussing the things, cussing the wings. I had to cuss in the vibe. Cussing the link, cover the back of the lie. Front cover magazine. Cover your eyes, cut it up back of the V. Yeah, I can be street. Just like the Travis and Fiend.